Here we go. Heck yes, there Excellent. it is. Team Squeaky Beefers versus Captain Ellen Locus. Quick right. two piece uh, from Chaz. And there it is. You can see it already. A very disruptive PK fire. But look at the way that Captain L and Locus are separating the two of them. That is a smart move because these guys have team combos practice, drill. They they just know what to do in every situation with each other. So keeping them separate is probably one of the easiest ways to probably take them down. They are so comfortable with each other and not stepping on each other's toes. Also, look at how careful Locus is being. I say as he <laughs> as he raw sure you. But like. When no, you're right. He is yeah. he is being fairly careful. Hit. He is not approaching when he doesn't Ooh. have to. Ooh, okay. Both teams down one stock. Good loser Chaz down by one. Locust down by one. That was an executive decision uh, that <laughs> Nathan Pineapple just made. Uh, and it may have been worth it. We will see. Only right. the end of this match will tell. You gotta love the way that these two are able to, like, recover and not step on each other's toes when they have recoveries that involve creating this huge arc yeah. of hitboxes. And Captain L's been trying to spike both of the PK kids off of the side with Thunder. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice stick. Yeah, look at the way uh, Chaz he is covering the approach. Wow, they're just going for a lot of suicide kills right now. It's just, it's, honestly, it's just bringing the match closer to completion. This game is still tied. I think they've just decided that they want to increase the pace uh, without necessarily increasing it in their favor. That's, you know, it may not be a bad idea because they just need to get something silly. Oh, that might be it. No, no not quite. That was a beautiful thunder by Captain L. Well placed, excellent read. Ooh. Oh, interrupting the PK Thunder too. Really well done down air there. But still, the stocks are even. Oh, wow. Good save. The semi-spike on the part of uh, Pikachu's down air there was terrifying. I like Doesn't... how long that thunder stayed out. All right, so Nathan Pineapple is in a dangerous percent. <gasps> there it is. Wow. There's that back here spike. Wow. Dude. Oh, he has forced Locust to take a stop from Captain L. Team. Oh, he almost he's going for the race! Oh my god! He got it! Team Squeaky Beepers! All right. Wow. And now it's a 2v1. What an incredible <laughs> match. <laughs> All right. It's only Captain L left. So, Captain L has to play like a man possessed to get this. <laughs> he really does. Because Nathan, like, he's going to die here, probably, but he still has one stock left. Oh, you know, he didn't even try to go for the recovery. He tried to actually just try, sort of give Pikachu as best he could. Wow. Look at so, that nice save. We've got a couple options the Team Squeaky Beepers are hoping for here. Either to grab and then interrupt. Uh, if he, if, if or a team combo. Yeah, team combo. If they can, uh, if... All they have to do is like pass it to Ness. Back throw. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. slightly out of range. There's that noggin from Lucas. Not as strong not as enough. Ness's though. He's There's not the out yet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? It's Team Squeaky Beavers, dude. They're playing so conservatively right now. They do not want to give this up. Oh, <laughs> he wanted that announcement. There oh, it is. Here it there is. it is. Noggin. No. Dodge. Out of percent now. Oh. Chaz just sitting back there, not pressing any buttons. Those are some sassy uh, grabs there. Trying to bait an approach. This is some great combos from Captain L, though. Dra Dragon down is a down tilt. He's playing they safe. Have, they have to seal this. They absolutely have to. One move is all it takes. One grab, and this Pikachu is gone. <laughs> He's just trying to jab. duck underneath Yeah, one, one grab. <laughs> It's an up throw of some kind. Oh, the DI! That dash attack's not gonna kill for a while. There's an air! Team one. Squeaky Beepers up, game number one! Wow! 
what an incredible first game. PK Kids. PK Kids see, are in here. See, when I, see, remember what I was saying a yeah. little bit earlier? How you, you think that they'll go for something. It's like, that doesn't make sense. They're not going to do it. And then they just oh, go for it, and they get it, it anyway. Here comes here's that the That double back air spike from Nathan Pineapple as Lucas. That was amazing. We're in there. It's, it's all Bayonetta now. <laughs> it's all Bayo now. Let's go. All Game right. number two. Now, this isn't necessarily a terrible matchup for the PK kids, but it's it's much, much, much riskier. Yeah. Especially since a couple of the PK kids have some some fairly like long lasting attacks. I think getting uh, getting wish time with those is going to be really easy. Oh, oh no! Not the, the down smash. That was unfortunate. Taking out his own teammate. Yeah. Team Squeaky Beavers down by one stock. That is an early stock, and they are focusing this Bayo. Yep, you can see Captain L off the left side, basically trying to keep Ness separated. When they're working together, yeah, you see a short little two-piece combo there. Oh, that was a nice yo-yo. You can see them; they're just synergizing so well. They know what they need to do when they're in that position. Like I said, these guys are with each other every single week, practicing, playing doubles. They just know what to do, like, out, off of pure instinct. Yep. And so, even with the stock disadvantage, it's not necessarily a bad situation. No, yet. last time, uh, what they, last time the plan seemed to be just, like, bring the socks wow, down there's under a stock. any circumstances. Like, SD, sacrificial chaos didn't matter. They just wanted the match to get closer to completion. Sort of a kamikaze doubles <laughs> play style. Really wild to watch. Pikachu sitting at 122%. Ness back air will take it at this point. Yeah, with Bayonetta spaces with back airs, it's really, really hard for Ness to get in. <laughs> oh. A lot of fun on that left side of the stage. You what? know that Chaz wants to get this. You know Chaz just wants that back throw on Pikachu right oh. now. He's going to lose all that rage, though. Oh, oh that amazing spike from Captain L. Captain L has been really holding it down here. And is that going to be a combo off the top? Oh, wow. Locust. Absolutely savage. What an incredible conversion there. They've woken up after that game one. Yeah, they're like, okay, They've we're absolutely ready. woken up. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, there's a stock. There's no way this comeback's happening. No, but. it's not, but still, how far can he go? That's the question. And the answer seems to be, like, pretty far. I think what's really working in Chaz's favor right now is the ambiguity <laughs> who he targets. Uh, like, initially you think, oh, he's just going to edge guard, uh, just going to edge guard Locust here, <laughs> and then comes in for Captain L instead. Oh, oh, no punish. Crap. And here comes the heel slide. Oh, the noggin from stage height. Okay, this is suddenly this is suddenly a little spookier. <laughs> oh, now he yeah, wanted it. He happening. wanted it. He's not getting it, but he wanted it. All right, so Captain Ellen Locus. Nathan and Chaz look like they're having a good time right they now. They do. They look like they're having a blast. Uh, That's what I love about them. They're like they're 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 just there for the fun. Like they may have serious faces on right now, but this is definitely their joking around. This is their joking around time. Oh, Chaz, is Chaz he leaving play? the PK kids. What could he possibly go to? Something that's a better counter for Bayonetta. This the Lucina. All right, respect it. So much drama in the LUC. <laughs> And right. here we go. A character more predisposed to edge guarding Bayonetta, perhaps with the counter. Uh, oh. What a very they, they lose the better PK fire, but still, this could be a very silly team. What really paid off for uh, Squeaky Beavers in the first game, in addition to the sort of suicide stuff that they were doing, was the sort of edge guard that we're getting on Ryu, because Ryu is very edge guardable. Yeah, no, Nathan was on top of that in game one. He was always there with like a back air, and he got two of the spikes. 
Like, that's not an easy spike to land. You have to space perfectly. And Lucina is a very tricky matchup for Pikachu in a 1v1. So the ability to space in doubles uh, is going to be much more uh, useful. Oh, oh. A forward air F smash conversion. I was about Locus. to say the percents are so even. Nice run up up smash. Gets Captain L off the stage for just a little bit. In a double situation like that, you will have sort of a stalemate go on in the first bit. And then somebody will take the first stock and it'll just open up the floodgates sometimes. There's that noggin. Not dead yet, though. Kill Sparks, but the DI keeps Locus alive. What an interrupt. Ooh! Oh! Raw! All right. Stocks even. Percentages pretty even as well. Wow. Captain L sitting at 119%. It's going to be save. a little bit harder to take him out, I think, without the Ness. That save for Captain L was crucial, though. Uh, he would have gotten Lucas comboed there. All right. So now it looks Wiki like Beepers. Yeah. Captain L is going to be holding the stocks here. Uh, we're going to look for probably an up throw. Ooh. The dash attack does it. Did he get? Wow. Stocks even up. That percentage is oh, no, That Lucy is gone. Ooh. Oh. Oh, oh my Lucas. God. Suddenly, Squeaky Beepers in the lead after the friendly fire takes out Locus off the top blast zone. This is an opportunity. This is a massive opportunity. They could go full kamikaze like they did in game one, and they would win. You saw that uh, Nathan was doing a bit of a cheeky up tilt there off of the first down throw because he was kind of he was expecting somebody would come in and interrupt a, like any sort of jump oh. into aerial combo. Wow. Squeaky right. Beepers is playing on another level I, right I can't now. And they're alive! I can't believe that Chaz is still alive at 175 after that. This is going to be it. This has to be it. No, He's it's not! still alive! Chaz is a god. Well, even gods die. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot going on here. Oh, oh what nice a save! save. Oh, walks into his teammates. Oh, smash. I'm loving There's another one! This, this is amazing! Share stock! Captain L but it's and even. Lotus. Everyone, last stock! In terms of stock. But if Captain L loses this... If he loses this, 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 this might actually go to Squeaky Beepers. PGR will be taken out by the Sowa Legends. This would be an upset, to say the least. <laughs> this would be... <laughs> this would be a Upset massive. is not a strong enough word, my friend. Oh! All right. You hear Let's the see. crowd, though. People are chanting for Nathan. You might get it. This is so much harder now, though. He has this to has play to ridiculously safe. Think about what you would have to do here. You have to take out two PGR players in a 2v1. This is, this is going to have to be the stock of Nathan Pineapple's life right now. Everybody get ready to make a clip. And oh, the no, this might be it. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. He's just going to carry him over, bridge him wow. over to that side blast zone. Captain Ellen Locust taking it 2-1. Well played from Team Squeaky Beepers. Squeaky Beepers, man, though.